What is going on guys, NanoPrince93 here with another video, and this one's gonna be a quick one. This is in response to a comment from my last video. So if you guys haven't seen, I definitely recommend watching it. It is my one month with iPad Pro only challenge, which I'm continuing because I don't have a laptop anymore and this has fully replaced my mobile computing situation. Jesus Jimenez commented, and just so you guys know, I respond to all comments. So if you guys have ideas, questions, uh, any thoughts, concerns, critiques, comment below on all the videos and I'll respond pretty pretty quickly. So he basically asked, could you make a video working in Google Docs through Safari and the Docs app? And that would be very helpful. So I did a little bit of digging, right? Because obviously Safari is now a full desktop browser experience, right? Google Chrome is not yet. And I've mentioned a bunch of times in my videos that I'm a Google Chrome user. And I really hope that Google Chrome creates a full desktop browser experience. So if you go into Google Chrome and you just type in google.com if you're on a desktop right you'll be able to get these little things right and if you can go into google drive but usually what it does is it'll either open up the google drive app for you or just put you into this really disorganized view and again it's a view only so you can't edit as you guys can see look i'm tapping on the tiles so basically it lets you see what's in your google drive but if you want to edit something or open up a new you know pages or numbers file you have to use the, the ios application of google drive and sheets and all those other applications so you can't really do anything no matter what you do what you press right you can zoom in if you want but that's it that's all you can do in terms of google docs inside of the chrome browser so what i did was like i said safari is now a full desktop experience right in a normal desktop situation what you do is you just type in google you go into this little menu, open up Google Drive, and this is what it looks like on any other desktop, right? You have access to create a new one, you can access all of your drives, and I haven't really played with it because again, I'm not really a Google Docs user for a lot of stuff. So I'm just gonna create a new one, a blank document, and see what it kind of looks like. See if you know it's a viable option to get stuff done. So one thing I did notice right away is that you do need the physical keyboard open to actually type stuff out, but if you do have a keyboard or some sort of Bluetooth keyboard, it'll work perfectly just as if you're using a normal Google Doc application. And I have my mouse going here, so I could just title this test for YouTube, if I can spell correctly, and just start typing stuff up. The red fox jumped over the fence and said hello. So it works, Google Docs, you know, it works as advertised, how it should be working. If I go back and let's say, let's say you wanna do something else, right? Let's say you wanna do a Google Sheets document. It opens up and you're right into a Sheets document, you know, if I put five, let's see, five, five, five. And over here, I wanna do an equation equals sum of this, this, this through this close it up, press enter, and then boom, it works like any other Excel application would work. So that's, you know, my quick synopsis on Google Docs on Safari. Again, I'm really hoping that Google Chrome becomes a full desktop browser. But yeah, shout out to Jesus for, you know, recommending that I do a video like this. Again, it was very, very quick. There isn't anything crazy about this, but it's true. It's nice that Safari is a desktop class browser finally on this iPad, and you don't have to go through mobile version of websites or get a separate application to do something that your laptop could do very quickly. So that's pretty much it. That's gonna do it for this video. If you guys have any other suggestions, let me know below in the comments. I'll, be, I'll have a link to all the things that I have up here listed. So if you guys wanna purchase them on Amazon, it really helps out the channel. But that's gonna, be, that's gonna be it, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. We've been killing it. Thank you so much. And stay tuned for a video on a new stand. Somebody reached out to me. They wanted to send us a couple. And I'll probably end up giving them away to you guys. So until next time, peace.